Welcome to Testimony Tuesday, brought to you by Experience Church of Bethpage. This is Lauren and Dave, and we're blessed to be talking to everyday people who have stories of how God's favor, kindness, and mercy have intervened in their lives. Join us as we experience our living God's compassion and love through their testimonies. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Testimony Tuesday. We are sitting here with our friend, Jacqueline. Well, Jacqueline, I have known you for many, many years. You've been in the church for a long time. Our daughters have grown up together. Yeah. And, you know, I am really glad with a recent encounter that we had because I feel like a door was open for us to really start to grow in our friendship together. Amen. And I really um, appreciate what you do for the church. I know you serve in different ministries. You serve in the nursery and, you know, you just have stepped up to be a greeter. Yes, I'm so excited <laughs> for that. Hello. Hello. <laughs> but, um, you know, I just, I really appreciate what the talents that you have that you bring. You know, you have a, you have an eye for technology and different ways that the church can kind of grow in that area and you know I really I love that our girls grew up together too because they're in youth together and I think it's so important that kids you know start out small and then they kind of grow into something more and they develop more together in the faith Mm -hmm. and I think that's just so wonderful that both of our daughters are together in that walk and I love that um But, you know, I really appreciate that you've come to share in this way because I've known you for many years, but I want to know you more. Yes. And I love when people come and sit on my couch because it's just a way to kind of get to know you more. Yes. Yes. So, Jacqueline, I'm really excited just to hear you share a time that God's hand was upon you in a way that really strengthened your faith in him. So the question in my life is when he when is his hand not upon me? Amen. You know, like he's always surrounding us. And I'm so grateful that I always had faith in him. Yes. The faith I've had for him and have for him has never died. Wow. And because did you grow up with him? I I I did. Okay. Not noticing that I was growing up with him. Okay. But I did. Um, my mom, she actually always had a Bible opened at her house. Wow. And I didn't realize that till not too long ago. I would say maybe like two, three months ago. Wow. I'm like, where did it start? Yeah. And even though she didn't speak to me about it, just the fact that my mom had her bible open yes to what verse to what chapter i have no idea but i would always see that bible in her room opened every day um did she read it every day i'm not sure but i know it was always open wow i love that so i I, so i can i can say that it started with my mom i was growing up with a single mom okay so I would see my dad on the weekends Mm -hmm. and somebody that always took me to church when I was younger Mm -hmm. in like well elementary around that age would be my aunt. She would take me to church on Sundays. Yeah. And uh, I know. And you don't think uh, so you need when you're when you're young like yeah. that, you don't think about things like that, you yes. know? Now that I'm, I'm letting God guide me, yes. you know? Because you can have faith as much as you want. Yes. And he says, as long as you have faith as small as the yes. mustard seed, that's, that's right. all you need. Mm-hmm. And it's so true. I see it in my life. I see yes. it in everybody's life around me. Yeah. But yeah, he's, so, he, he's been so great to me and... Yeah, I'm so grateful for everybody in my life that mm. has brought me where where I'm at now. And, and different peoples in different ways. Yes. Their little light always shined. Yeah. And I didn't see why it was shining. And now I'm so blessed and, and grateful that I'm able to see mm. those things that they did in my life back then. Like mm. you said, my daughter, knowing that she has a friend that she grew up with at church, yes. you know, and they're building their relationship with God together. Amen. It's such a blessing. Amen. And that's why I make sure yes. that even though um, there's things happening, events happening here, yes. they ha- they always come on Fridays mm-hmm. for youth night. Yep. 
you know, and we're always here certain days at 9 a.m. in the morning. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're kicking and screaming sometimes, yeah. but they're and there. We're here, yes, okay? Amen. W- absolutely. Once a week, yes. we're here. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. We love our home away from home. Yes, it definitely is. Yes. It definitely is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so my testimony is, is basically about mental health, honestly. Okay. Because the devil's always lying to us, yes. you know? And sometimes we listen to it. We need to put our foot down and say, I'm no longer listening to you. That's right. I don't know if you know, but I got into a car accident about two years ago. Okay. And I got into, I got into a little bit of depression. Okay. That's so so awesome that I'm able to say that, that I was. Amen. You know, I'm out of that now. That's right. No, no devil, no, the world can't say that we're this, mm. we're that. Like the schools, they, some kids get labeled. Yes. Unfortunately. Mm-hmm. In this world, we get labeled. Yeah. Oh, this kid has ADHD. Oh, this kid. No. Mm-hmm. The only person that can label us yes. is God. That's right. Right now, the question is, are we going to use the gifts that he has given us Mm -hmm. to get out of where we were? Because we don't have to stay there in depression. We don't have to stay there in anxiety. Yeah, we don't have to be there. Mm -hmm. We we choose to get out of there. Is it easy to get out of there? Of course not. But if you seek him, you will find him. That's right. If you knock that door. Yes. That door will be open. Mm-hmm. Matthew 7, 7. It's my favorite verse now. And I'm so blessed that I'm able to say that. Mm-hmm. I'm able to tell you a verse in the Bible. Yeah. Because before I couldn't do that. Yeah. Because the devil would tell me, you can't read the Bible. You can't open up that Bible. Mm-hmm. You struggled in school all your life. Yeah. So you're not, that Bible, you open it up, you start in Genesis, you're not going to be able to read. I, I you can't. totally got this. You can't. Mm-hmm. You don't have time. That's what the devil tells you. You don't mm-hmm. have time to read the Bible today. Don't do it. Mm-hmm. It's okay. You could do it tomorrow. Yeah. You could do it tomorrow on an even day. Wait till the 20th when it's an even day. Yes. That's what he tells you. That's yeah. what he was telling me in my mind. No, it's okay. Not tomorrow. No, I'm starting today. You Amen. need to tell the devil, no, I'm, I'm not going to listen to you. I'm going to listen to what God wants me to do. Mm-hmm. And that is seek him, build a relationship with him. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm so grateful that I'm, I'm doing that now, you know. And um, life gets, gets to us. We, as parents, we're, mm-hmm. we're running after our kids. We're taking them to sports. We're taking mm-hmm. them to martial arts my daughter's in martial arts so i'm going from here to there to that and sometimes we don't worry about our ourselves yes and and that's okay Mm -hmm. and that's okay but what i've because of my car accident i've learned to slow down yes absolutely the pain that i feel because i do i do have pain on my on my lower back mainly like i don't want to feel that pain but this pain s- slows me down. Yes. So it tells me, like, I, I don't know how to explain, but like. He, it makes it, you pause. Right. He he said, all right, you're not, you, you're going too fast right now. Yes. And he would always remind me. I'm like, no, it's okay. And then he was like, you know what? To me, it was like, all right, it, you had to go through this accident mm-hmm. so you could slow down. Yes. You're going to be out of work for a month, a year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you can have time for me because you're not making time for me. I have a Bible app. My goal was every day to open up that Bible app before anything else. Mm. And I, I made it up to 100 days. And I was so proud of myself. I That's was like, awesome. Yes. Yeah. I'm like, this is progress. Yes. This is progress. Yes. And it was. Even four days yes. Is progress. Yes. 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 Mm-hmm. But... To build a relationship with him, yeah. to get closer to him, mm-hmm. you have to open up that Bible. Yes, you and do. And that's what I've learned. 
That's mm-hmm. why I, I told the devil to, to be quiet. Don't talk to me anymore. That's right. I'm going to open up my Bible. Yes. And <laughs> I'm going right. to read. And people kept saying, yeah. open open up Matthew. Start at Matthew. Pastor Sal would be like, start at Matthew. Mm-hmm. You'll find peace. Mm-hmm. When he did that whole season of yeah. saying peace. I'm like, I, I want to find this peace. What is he talking about? Yes. I found that peace that Pastor Paul was talking about Pastor Sal. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. Pastor Sal was talking about. Mm-hmm. Wow! All I had to do was open the Bible, and he yes. would say that. Pastor Sal would say that all the time. Open up the Bible, and he would say that too. Start at Matthew. Yeah. And finally, I listened, mm. and I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. Now that I finally opened up Matthew and I actually read it, and not not only. Am I reading it? But I'm not skipping that verse until I understand it. Yes. Before I go to the next verse. I totally relate. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to go to the next one and be like, what? What are they talking about? And, you Mm -hmm. know, like, it's just like a regular book, a regular book. But this is a this is a book of life that Mm -hmm. would guide you through life. Yes. So I told the devil. No, don't talk to me anymore. Mm-hmm. I tell him not to talk to me anymore every day. <laughs> and I open and I open up my Bible <laughs> and I read a devotion every day. Mm-hmm. All of us in my family, mm-hmm. they all have their own devotional. And every day we our our goal is to always read our devotional and our Bible. Mm. And that just changes our day. Yes. Not not only f- for us around each other, mm-hmm. but also for for our relationship with God because we get to get closer and closer to God because we're seeking him mm-hmm. and we're finding him because we're seeking him that's right like my favorite verse Matthew 7 7 <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm just wondering though when you were growing up and everything and you got married and you had children and stuff and like you said it was kind of like run 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 yeah, right go and go 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 that, yeah exactly when you say about mental health, like what were some of the things you struggled with? Like you said depression. Like and reading. that was so mm-hmm. brave to say that because yes. and I love that you commented on the fact that the fact that you could say that it's of your past in a way That's you were right. saying it. Amen. What were some things so, that you'd say you struggled with in your thought life and in your behaviors that maybe you knew that you weren't as close to God as you needed to be? So I always knew that God was there. That I always knew. Yes. He's he's always around me. Right. But the only thing I was not doing was seeking him as much as I am now. And the reason why I wasn't yeah. was because I was labeled yes. in the school district. Okay. And I was in special ed classes my whole life. Okay. So I have a learning disability okay. for the school because okay. I don't want to say I have it because yeah. I, I, I do have it, but I'm fighting it. It's a, and it doesn't define Yeah, and it yeah. doesn't. It mm-hmm. doesn't. And, and I know I have it. Mm-hmm. I'm just working on it. Yes. With God now. Yes. You know, I'm not letting the devil say, no, no you can't read the Bible. Um, so my brain is just like it, it's all over. So sometimes I want to say something and then something else will come out. <laughs> okay. Or like when I'm reading, I'm reading too fast and then I'm putting words where they don't belong. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> right? Yeah. So I'm like, all right, I need to slow down, put my finger on the word. <laughs> so it and, would, and re- but would, it, would it make a difference in your emotions and like the way that you looked at yourself, your self-esteem, like your confidence would would those things yes. were those things hurting in your life? Yes, because I would I wouldn't I would never want to read out loud. Okay. I do I was I didn't want anybody to pick me to read something. Mm-hmm. Cuz I know I'm going to get stuck somewhere. Mm-hmm. Where am I going to get stuck? I don't know, but there's going to be a word as simple as I can't think of of word exactly, but mm-hmm. it could be the. It could right. be the. Yeah. And I'll be like there. Right. 
Okay. Where was the R and the E? I don't know. I just added it in my right. brain. <laughs> yes. Right. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, it, it, sure. it, I, I believe it's called dyslexia mm -hmm. is what what it, what is called. But I haven't looked into it to be exactly diagnosed because sure. I never got diagnosed. Okay. I was just put in special ed classes my my whole life. Okay. I graduated yeah. in special ed and uh, and. Hey, at least I graduated. That's right. <laughs> I passed with my regents. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. With the with all my amazing teachers. Wow. They all helped. Yeah. I still I'm connected with a couple of them. That's and awesome. And they 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 um cheer my kids on still on whenever time I post something. Yeah. And they're they some one of them is like, I can't believe you are 35. And I'm like, and she's like, I'm still 35. I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be listening to this. And they, they will. Yeah. They will. Yeah. And I and I love them for the encouragement that they given me. You know, mm -hmm. I would always struggle, and and and, and it's crazy because it's a lot of different ages. There's middle school. There's a no, not not elementary. There's middle school and high school teachers that I still am connected with. Even my mm -hmm. guidance counselor. Nice. Um, still following me and encouraging me um, on social media, and it's such a blessing. Sometimes social media is not is not great in, in certain things, but sometimes it is. Absolutely. Sometimes it is. You yeah. know, like this. There's always good and bad. Like and this, everything. right? What we're doing right now, we're yes. able to share God's love because yes. that's how I see it. Mm -hmm. Is His love? Yes. He never, and even though we think that he's not loving us, he's always there yes, loving he us. Mm -hmm. And we don't, we don't embrace that as, mm -hmm. as much as we should. Yes. There's no greater love than his love. Mm -hmm. And testimonies, uh, to me, is that. Yes. Is showing people, hey, look what he's done in my life. That's right. He could do this for you too. Yes. Come, let's talk about it. <laughs> No, he made himself real yes, to you. Yes, yes. In a different way, absolutely. So, like, so me being in depression and not, and I can't move, I can't go to the gym. What am I gonna do? Yeah. Should I start it reading the Bible? You. Yeah. Should I start reading the Bible? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me start reading the Bible. Yeah. And I would start reading the Bible, and I would even sometimes do audio, because sometimes, you yes, know, I yeah, I do too. Mm -hmm. So I would do that sometimes. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, so. Um, I started reading it, and Pastor Sal literally, I think I read it like the week, it was, we were in chapter seven somewhere. Mm -hmm. He was in chapter somewhere somewhere. And then I read it that weekend mm -hmm. or that week, and then he said it that weekend. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, he's speaking to me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So like little and everything started lining up mm -hmm. the way I was speaking to my kid, the way yes. I was speaking to my husband, mm -hmm. the, the way, way I was speaking to yourself probably the, too, right? Yes. Yeah. Because I was not listening to those mm -hmm. negativities in my head. Yeah. I was like, no, 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 not now. Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I'm seeking God right now. Yes. I don't, I don't have time to think negativity th thing negative things mm -hmm. in my head right now that's awesome i i don't have time for that i'm not going to dwell on things that are not true yes so i'm not going to dwell on i can't read anymore yeah i'm not going to dwell on that i'm going to actually read the book yes. i'm going to open it up and push myself through the verse yes and i don't have to read a whole chapter mm -hmm. i don't have to read a a a the whole book of Matthew, just mm -hmm. the one chapter of Matthew, or maybe I won't finish. I won't. I'll just finish that page, mm -hmm. and I I would I put a bookmark there. It's okay as long as I read something. Yes. So I got closer to him and got to know him more. Mm -hmm. You know. So yeah. So he he had to slow me down. Yes. And he slowed me down, and I got closer to him. Yes. And still now nowadays now I have to remind myself to slow myself down. Yeah. Why am I going so fast? Yeah. There's no need for it. It's not on my timing. It's in God's timing. Yes. Stop trying to do things for you. Mm -hmm. Do things together with God. Mm. 
and you'll get where God wants you to go. Amen. Those were my feelings back then. We're going to leave it back then. Mm -hmm. We're not going to bring the past back. Mm -hmm. The past that stays in the, the, uh, the past yes. stays back then. Sure. Back, back then. Yes. It doesn't come with me. It doesn't. No. We're, it doesn't and it, it, nobody should be judging anybody either. No. That stays in the back. We're, we, we are starting fresh. Yes. I feel like I'm starting fresh now. You know, I'm letting God guide me. Mm. I'm letting I'm letting him do what he wants me to do in this in this world. Mm. You know, so I'm so I'm so blessed that I'm able to speak and tell <laughs> you all this, you know. I am too. God has been doing so much amazing things and I'm so grateful for everything he has done in my life. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's my testimony. Oh my you know, gosh. that God God it, sometimes is not our being it's God's being. Yeah. Sometimes we go through things we don't know what we're going through, but there's there's a blessing coming. Yes. When is yes. it gonna come? We don't know, but God will show you when it's gonna come. Oh, Jacqueline, I love that. I love that. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I just I just love that. And you know, I I feel like it's it's such an answer to prayer because I wanted to unfold un I wanted to peel back a little bit of you, you mm. know, and I got to tonight. And it's just <laughs> wonderful. I feel like we have a lot more in common than I realized. But I love that you shared about your mother and when you were growing up and that story of how when you'd go into her bedroom you'd see the Bible open and it just it just gives me such a beautiful picture of how much the word was in your household growing up mm -hmm. that even though you you know believed in God you didn't really have like you said a relationship with him a, a, and um he wasn't coming off the pages for you like mm. he started to right as time went on but i love that you found him at 18 like you shared and you just kind of started to grow in your relationship with him and in your interest in him. And you really were obedient to the conviction on your heart to just start reading, mm -hmm. to just open up the Bible and start reading. Yes. And it might be later in life, but it's later in life for me too. I totally connected to that. Mm -hmm. But I... I think it's just so beautiful because it doesn't matter when it is. It's never too late to just open up his word right. and just see what he's saying to you. I love that you shared about the car accident and how when he just forced you to just to slow down, just to take a pause and say, okay, now, you, now I have your attention. Yeah. Now you can't go back to work the way you did. You can't really even do things in the house the way that you were doing. Yes. You can't you can't really be the person that you were as fully as you were before that because I wanted to be. I got to fill you up differently right yes. now. Yes. <laughs> and I love that you, you know, really are an example of somebody that overcame a lot of learning to not a lot of learning disabilities, and I don't even want to say that, but reading issues and yes. different ways that you struggled and you overcame your you overcame your academic struggles, yes. where it 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 stunted you from really being able to get to know God, but you said, not only am I gonna read but i'm going to read to understand and i'm going to read to receive and i'm going to read to transform amen and you did and you know your family is so connected in that way it's so beautiful to hear that it's very telling about a person when they don't allow the odds to come against them you know like you you might have had an uh, you might have had an idea about yourself as a learner, as a, as, a, as a person who understood him, as a person who could, you know, you might have limited your faith with him, but 
he's unlimited. And you know? he just completely said, no, little girl, come here, my daughter. Yes. You're going to get to know me and, and we're on this together. Yeah. And however you meet me is how I'm going to not only meet you, but I'm going to find you. Amen. However you seek me, I'm going to find you. But, you know, there's a word that came on my spirit from the very start of you sharing, besides finding, you know, obviously that was amazing when you said that and, you know, overcoming and, you know, transforming and really just kind of getting to know him, you know. There's a word that came on my spirit from the start of this story. And it's very interesting because you started your story with this word within the first part. It's just so fitting because the word that came to my spirit is surrounding. Mm. That God has surrounded you from the moment you were a little girl. He surrounded you when you'd walk into your mother's room and see the Bible open on the table. And you knew that there was something happening there, but you didn't know what it was. Right. He surrounded you when you started to really raise your family and started to try and be everything to everybody like we have to try and be, right? right? But he was surrounding you when you were in that car accident. He protected you. Yes. He was surrounding you when you were in those hours by yourself, feeling like you didn't have a purpose because you didn't get to go back to work the way you might have wanted to. And maybe you didn't feel like your days were... Like your days had much purpose, but he was surrounding you when you were trying to learn about him. Amen. He was showing you how to get to know him. He was surrounding you in these past seasons of really getting to know him differently and really seeking him differently and being found by him differently. Amen. You know, I love that he just surrounded you with people you know you talked about the teachers in your life you talked about the your family you talked about your mother you talked about your aunt Mm -hmm. you know you talked about people that just yes you your parents were not together but you still had people surrounding you throughout your life that believed in you and what you can do with him in you as well and i love that because god does surround us no matter what we're going through he always is right there with us we can trust in him surrounding us we can trust in like that song michael w not michael w smith who is it that sings surrounded yeah like that song surrounded yeah you know we can trust that no matter what battles we might be facing no matter what we might need to overcome or just how we might need to get to know him differently, that we can trust that he's surrounding us in Amen. all those ways. In whatever ways we're, we're, we're swimming in. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Yes. And I love that because it just goes to show that, you know, because we have a God that surrounds us in every single season we're in, no matter where we're at, in our walk with him or our walk without him, that we can trust that he is surrounding us with Amen. his presence, with his guidance, Amen. with his hand in every single way. I love that yes. you started with, when has his hand never been upon me? Yes. And I love that you started with that Ooh. because yes. that was a beautiful first line to start with yes. because from the start, God has surrounded you completely. Amen. And we all have a God that surrounds us. We all have the hope of knowing that God is with us through it all. And because we have a God that surrounds us in everything, in every way, no matter what we're going through, through no pain, matter what battle we're in, or what victory we're we're celebrating. Whatever storm we're going through. That's right. We have a God that surrounds us. And because he surrounds us, we have the opportunity and the ability to live our life in his love. Amen. Amen. What better love? Amen. What better, like, Keith giving me love. Amen. Amen. In my ups and downs, in my pains, and those pains are going to go away. That's right. Because he's going to heal all those pains. We can live in his love. Yes. Amen. (laughs) Thank you for joining us today. If you like what you just experienced, please subscribe and share this story with a friend. 
You're welcome to take a seat with us at Experience Church in Bethpage, Long Island, or you can visit us on our website at www.experiencechurchag.org. You can also follow us on our social media platforms listed in the description. We pray that you too can experience what it's like to live your life in God's love. Be blessed.